Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can choose one. Wow. Hey, hey, folks. Here we are. Tuesdays. Good to have you. We're back. We're back. Best pod on earth. You got that right. Even though the algo hates us, those queefs out there. Oh. Is that a swear? The no, first five? Queef is okay. Okay, queef it up. We're trying to uh, make excuses and uh, figure out what's going on with our our numbers, but they, we think the algo, the algo yes. got us. So no swearing on this episode. No, those, clean. Those numbers are down syndrome, baby. <laughs> clean. No marks. This is gonna be. That's from Raging Bull, but we have one mark. Of course. Oh yeah, I thought I was out. No, Jeez. Frank Frank Vincent says that he's got he's clean. No marks. <laughs> They're talking about how he's good looking. <laughs> Underratedly hilarious film. I keep talking about it everywhere. One of the funniest movies of all time. Very funny. Hits his wife. Good times. Very funny. Ah, I don't think we could say that. Though. Oh, well, I mean, we didn't hit any wives. No, we are against wife hitting, even though we said it's hilarious to depict it. Yes, just girlfriend hitting. Very funny to depict it, but don't do it, folks. Aha. Uh-huh. Algo. <laughs> You know, what's funny is we had a little uh, mishap with our marriage license. Oh, thank God. So I guess I'm not married. <laughs> Hey, all Legally, right. Legally, I'm back. Let's fuck. All, all right. right. I said fuck. Oh, you oh, blew it. Now we're going to have to go on to 4chan or whatever. I, I think uh, Jackie Chan. I think <laughs> I think we're more than a minute in, right? Yeah, yeah, that was a minute. Just add some dead air at the beginning. What happened with the uh It's not like me in bed. Well, that was at least a minute. <laughs> um I don't know. Uh, somebody signed in the wrong place. There was a lot of booze out there. We're all on shrooms. So the wedding planner was like, hey, before you guys get too blackout, you got to put your handcock on this thing. Uh. So I put my hand on a cock, and then uh, we fucked it up, and we turned it in. And they go, you signed on the date. And then you put the date in a swastika, so the whole thing's ruined. <laughs> so we had to get it redone and go back to the courthouse. It was a nightmare. This is like Ben Bailey Boulevard. You know the bit. Oh, the bit. Uh, ben Bailey Boulevard. I talk about it a lot. Go on to uh, Apple Music, Amazon, uh, Pandora, sure. or uh, Walmart, whatever See it is, so. and find uh, Ben Bailey's album, track one, Ben Bailey Boulevard. It's the greatest. Oh, uh, it's a great bit. He, he fills something out wrong. He fills out the application for a job. He's like, you always do it wrong, and it's embarrassing, and you got to just you know, stick with it. You, can't, yeah. you don't want to admit that you got it wrong because uh, you look at the job. And then the interviewer is like, your name is Ben Bailey? Yes. And you live on Ben Bailey Boulevard? <laughs> Yes. Uh, he put the name. I'm right. not doing it justice. Go. See, I hate when you bomb with someone I've, else's material. I've never gotten a laugh on anyone else's joke in my entire life. And this is like killer, you know, arena acts. And I'm like, you heard that one? People go, oh, that stinks. And I'm like, well, tell the 10,000 people howling. I'm, I promise it's a good bit. Go listen. Cut. Cut right now to Ben Bailey Boulevard. Cut Very and funny print. Guy. Funny guy. How's he doing? I haven't seen him in a coon's age. I think he's just living in bleep that. I think he's just living. Main coon. Uh, he's probably living on a, a mountaintop. I mean, he did cash cab. That was huge. Oh, yeah. That's got to be a payday for the rest of your days. Uh, big time. And it's weird because all these people are like, that's the cash cab guy. Right. But he's also like a brilliant stand-up comedian. For years, yeah. Now, here's a question. Would you... Let's say Cash Cab got rebooted. Ben Bailey falls into a well. Okay. They hit your fat ass up, and they go, hey, hey, Dickless, you want to host this puppy? Would you take it? I don't know if I would because oh boy. if it's a hit, we, we can't take real jobs. No. Because they're going to go, meet the new host of Cash Bailey or whatever. Sure, whatever sure. Whatever it's called, Cash Cab. Cash Cab. Cab. It should be Cash Uber, let's be honest. I guess times have changed. Cash Uber, and Cash they're going to go meet the new host, and then they do a little... Oh, here he is saying, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. to fuck children. Right. That was a good ep. <laughs> but, oh, that yeah. was a good hundred ep. <laughs> and uh, like a box set. I, I don't want that heat, but it seems fun. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure it's, I'd have to talk to Ben and see, but I, I don't... So you're more worried about the uh, the... Whatever yeah. the, the Pauly Shore noise, than the actual gig. 
Because I'd be worried about the, the hours, the gig. You got to cancel a bunch of road dates. Your stand up suffers. You're, you're talking to some douche in the back seat about his aunt. But I bet. But I. I bet also you can shoot. I mean, I don't know. Ben, if Ben were here, we could ask him. But I, I think that. You probably shoot for like three weeks. I bet, I bet you do a yeah, season in three weeks. That's a good point. You just point. take a month off and go and scoot around. Good point. Um, but also, I'm sure when he got that gig, he was on the road making whatever money. I don't yeah. know that he was a huge draw. Sure. So it was big for him and turned his life around financially. That's true. But, uh, you know, I, we're selling some some tickets here and we got a podcast. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I probably would not. Do it. That's a, but isn't that a cool spot in your career where you're like, if you would have gotten cash cab five years ago, you would have blown my dad and been like, hey, let's do this, Rick. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd throw that on the Patreon. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I got a picture of Sandy. I think we should put on the Patreon. Uh, all, right, all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just the Patreon. The Patreon. I don't want to hurt this lady. I'm yeah. just saying we won't put it out into the public ether. Yes. What is an ether? I've been saying ether for a whole my. I thought it was a drug, but it's an, a thing. Well, is ether something? Sutherland. Oh, uh, he's good. He's very attractive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's either or. I don't know what ether is. Is that galaxy? Same thing? I think it's just out there. Just like a, the a, a squirt in the wind. Is it like Equinox? Because what's Equinox besides the gym that I suck dicks in? Equinox is something. Uh, for you, it's a it's a kneeling place. <laughs> but uh, I think it's like, a, uh, like something with latitude or equator. Yeah, equanimity... That means like that's an outcast you're, album. You're doing well, right? Like uh, mentally, I think. Really, even, even keeled equanimity. Equanimity. Yeah, I think so. As equality. Equality. Yeah. Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Equinox. Chuck, you want to fill got us there, in Freddy? on Equinox? Well, I got ether. Oh, ether. ether. Okay. There's ether. a couple ethers. It says uh, in literary works, it's the clear sky or the upper regions of air beyond the clouds. So it's in the ether. Oh, okay, the it's in the ether. Clouds. Got uh, like a dandelion spore. Just goes off. What's like a, uh, what do you call it? Synonym. Uh, space. Uh-huh. Uh, the final Atmosphere. Fun- Atmosphere. Atmospheric. Yes, yes. yes. Every time you can get a word that you add something to, it's fun. That's a good time. Atmospheric or um, uh, professorial. Ooh, Those are fun. Ooh, that's a lot of syllables. That's exciting. Yes. You got some other thing here? I got equinox. Okay. Equinox. Okay, what's equinox? Uh, the time or date twice a year at which the sun crosses the celestial equator. Oh, oh yeah. Like when the autumn, day and autumn night. equinox. Yes, right. It's so, so funny. why is that a gym name? Well, that's the thing. It's so funny. There's some queef out there in advertising or marketing was like, hmm, we need a good name for this uh, blowjob gym. Hmm. Equator? No. Equ- you know, they do it with car names. Murano or Intrepid or, uh, you know, Civic. Well, so here's the question, because I think we've done bars before, and I think we've even done cars, cars and bars. Mm. What? What's your gym name? You're opening Mark's ah, Big Gym. Yes, yes. How about Come One, Come All? Uh, All right, two, that's a, two good, that's a good tag for yes, the name. You yeah, can just call your gym, come one, come on. I wouldn't C- sit on the tag. C U M. Ah. That's what I'm going at. It's where gays go to frolic. C U M. But C U M. Come one, come all. Now right, all it's the still, gays. It's too long. It's too I think. long. It's too long. Yeah, okay, okay. It's a little lengthy. All right. By the way, right. C U M was a web series, uh, Con- Connor's Ultimate Movies. Nobody watched it. Go. Who? People should can can people just retroactively watch stuff we put on YouTube for God's sakes? Because yeah. I got stuff on YouTube. It's a laugh riot, but it went up eleven hundred years ago. Uh, so, so it's, it's got six buried. views. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's go like, retool it. Re- oh, I'll retool you. Uh, okay, I got one. Okay, I can't wait. Equipped. Equipped. It's now a we got, close to Equinox. Yeah, we got all the. You're right. We got all the equipment, and you're equipped when you get out of there. You're ripped. All right. So, what are some gyms? Gold's gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness. Yeah, yeah. You could do Ether Fitness. Ether. Uh, ether's okay, but there's, I remember Ether Rag was a big thing. Remember that thing? You go Ether Rag. You know, uh, like a guy goes up behind a lady in the park with an Ether Rag, and she's like. Bah! And she oh. goes down. I thought Jim, that was something else. Well, Jim Ace, Carey, uh, Ace Ventura, ether yes. ragged a couple people to get the Super Bowl ring. I didn't know it was ether. AFC Championship ring. Sorry, he sorry. missed the field goal. Don't forget. Ah, uh, the Marino laces out. Um, <laughs> Finkel and Einhorn. I thought that was called uh, chloroform. Oh yeah. Because remember the comedian, he says, I knew the date wasn't going to go far because I was out a lot of chloroform and rags. rags. And then yeah. Jerry's like, that's the perfect hack joke. Yes, yes. What about uh, in, in uh, not It's Always Sunny? What's the one? Fear and Loathing. Ah. He's always. Much different. 
Mm. That's ether. He's hitting. Okay. So there is something with a drug with ether. Get All that right. goog there. Check, check. Um, but we need a gym name from you. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Joe's gym. Steel. Steel is mm, big. Steel. I like to steal. Steel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steel Magnolia. Jim. Uh, I don't know about the Magnolia. A little fruity. What about Jungle Jim? Hey, okay. And you make it, you know, there's leaves and rawr, the oh, sounds. Oh, that's fun. A tree in there. Yeah. Maybe a monkey to look at. All right. Easy. You give out free bananas. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Jungle Jim. I like that. Jungle Jim. And you could you could be Jim now. You'll just go as Jim. So and I'll be Jungle Jim. Wing in. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan. For Tarzan. Ah, uh, Jason. Uh, By the way, right. Tarzan and Feathered. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I need a gym name here. How about Nasium? Mm. We take out the gym. It sounds a little. It's a little nasally. nasally. Yeah. 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 It sounds like a spray. Nasium. Yeah. You're you right. You sound nasal. Nasally. A little bit. All right. Well, let me, let me get back to this. Oh, Joe Nasium. Oh. Instead of gymnasium, gymnasium. That's, that's not bad. But I think gymnasium and the gym are different gyms. Like You're a gymnasium right. is like right. hoops. You're right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll think of something. Yeah. Put it in the comments. That's good for the algo. Ah, comment. Put give a us good, a gym name. Put a couple good gym names in the comments and whoop, right yeah. up the algo we go. By the way, the weird thing about the algorithm is, though, I don't know if we want to be getting people's algorithm. Then people are just going to watch us randomly. Hmm. They'll hate yeah. us. You get a couple, though. You, ten people hate you, but one likes you. That's one guy. That's not bad. That's Orgel. most of my shows. What do you got? Ether. Oh, please. Also, uh, I thought we already did Ether. How about bench warmers? That's not bad. Yeah, that's got a negative connotation. Yeah, negative connotation. Yeah. All right. So in uh, Fear and Loathing, Duke says, there's nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And they're referring to a volatile chemical liquid that has historically been used as an anesthetic and industrial solvent. Okay, okay. So you can clean some some jizz with ether. Yeah. Oh, what about uh she's spotting? <laughs> okay. okay. Spotting. You know, these you spot are good. Somebody. I think these are good stickers to sell at your gym. Uh, You're coming up with stickers. Okay. I, need right. a t- I, need I a like name. a sticker. You're the marketing guy. All right. Mark, all right. Mark all Normanding. Right. Right. Sticker them up. But okay, let me uh, come back to me. But I, we'll, I got stickers we'll all back. day long. All right. Coming out of the Yang. I'm going Jonasium. Okay, that's not bad. I <laughs> that's like not, Jonasium. Not great. I don't mind it because it's not going to get everybody. What about a uh, nice rack? It's another sticker. You're well, all stickers. I'm, I'm a sticker magnet, but I'm just saying, or you, get, you got hot gals in there, and you rack the weights. Hmm. All right. It's another sticker. Rack. Hmm. Rack is funny. Yes. The, the waiting room, but wait. Oh, w- that's, that's not bad. Yeah. That's room. not bad. Okay, yeah. That's not bad. To scale, it's good. It's like, for Chuck, that's that's very good. Sure. If you threw it out, I'd be upset. But okay. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we are grading <laughs> on a curve there. Yeah, weights, power. What are the other gym names? Power or something. Power and glory. Lift. Lift. That's already a car company. Yeah, thing. yeah. What about uh, lift me up or get lifted or lift lifters? Take a lift. Eh, Hard close. bodies. That's another place. Yeah, yeah. But that I think of boners. Bodies. Body. Body count. Body. Uh, body bag. Body positive. What body. About a body bag. Karate kid. We'll figure all it out. All right, but all right. I, I got a couple stories here oh. that are going to really, you know what I mean? Put them right in my pooper, baby. Now, this one, uh, now I got a couple beefs and queefs and questions here. I love it all. Uh, well, so anyways, so Monday uh, was the big night. Big night. Oh, the, the big Quinn. night. Heard from you at 5 p.m. <laughs> I was all excited to see you. I, I, you're, you're very difficult, I got to say. <laughs> I had a like, snafu. L- days leading up, I'm like, you're going to the big Quinn show? I'll be there. And I never know afterwards if you knew the whole time or what's going on. But God bless May Plannert Norman for dealing with you. Because Monday day, I'm like, here we go. I'll see you tonight. And you're like, Woo, no, I can't Monday wait. Day. It was Sunday day. All right. Well, I had a snafu. I landed and uh, I got the uh, see you tonight. And I was like, oh. Mm. We have a show tonight in Jersey. Oh, boy. So I guess I could have texted you and got shit. I, I fucked up. I got a show, but I didn't text you. Well, I don't care about the text. I get there. It's it's it's, it's comical. 
Because I get there and I'm looking around. I mean, everybody who's anybody was there. I heard Jerry was there. It was, well, we're going to get to that. Oh, I miss Jerry. You talk snafu. This is a bad one. I mean, I got a story. This is going to be one of those epic, talked about for years stories. Oh, God, I can't take it. This is big. I got to start taking these gigs. Well, your your place with Jerry is, is safe as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, oh. I'm, You're not being replaced by me anytime soon, Uh-oh, I'll tell you that. You, did you fuck up? Woo, did oh, I fuck up? Oh, wow, that, this feels like a me story, big, so this is exciting. Big fuck up. Yeah, uh-huh. I pulled the real Norman. I mean, I, I, I was there. I said I'd be there, and I was there, so that's more of a me thing. That's but, true, that's true. But anyway, so I'm all excited to see you, and uh, what can you do? Well, wait, but there was other cats there. You had Sam. You had the other guy. Oh, the cats. There's no replacing you, my friend. Wow. I'm just saying. You got a lot of good good eggs over there. Great eggs. Great cats. So I'm all Louis cats. Eggs Wasn't are there. good. Uh, Jason Katz directed my new special March 6th. Probably sold out already. Sorry. Oh, I had a friend ask if he could help. But we'll talk about that later. A lot of helpers out here. People want talk to help. cats. They got it. You got your shooting star. They want to hitch well, the ride. Tell them to talk to cats. All right, life's a hitch. Uh, then you marry one. <sighs> Been there. that one. Life's a married. bitch. Then you marry one. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not married. Well, it's the big night. CQ, Colin Quinn, everybody's hero. He's the like king. the most people's idol. This easily guy. the grandfather of New York comedy, I'd say. So he uh, he's got a new show called Small Talk at the uh, Loretta Lynn Lucy Theater. Lucy Ortel. Yes, Lucy Ortel Theater. Little uh, black box, black cocks in my ass. BBC. Chicago Black Cocks. He's got the show Monday nights, opening night, and I, I, God bless him, because he wants all the comedians there. Which is rare. He, no one loves comedians more than Colin Quinn. You got that right. He is a lover of comics, and so, by the way, you're required to wear a mask at this thing, uh, which is what we were texting about. Now, is that really held to 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 the floor? What's the term there? Is that oh, really yeah. held down? He's a theater Queefs, queefs for, you know, cleaning it up with the word queefs here. Yes, yes. They, they're no joke. They're walking up and down. Uh, masks, masks, please. Get wow. out of your mask. And it's so weird because I'm like, I've been to, on Broadway. Yeah. And uh, no mask. I, I, I haven't worn a mask since uh, Halloween, 1988. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. You went as uh, blackface. <laughs> so that was 98. Uh. Um Got that photo. Jordan. Mm. <laughs> I my tongue out all night. <laughs> so we got to wear masks, which I, I don't know what had, that had to do with the story. Uh, well, that's just annoying. Yeah, it was annoying. But, but Oh, that was the thing, because Colin, he's performing for all comics in masks. Uh, that's double whammy. Brutal. Now but, you got no laughers, and if they do laugh, it's muffled. Yes, a muffled no laugh. Yes, an M N L. Yeah, that checks out. Uh-huh. So we go there. I'm with Sarah. I got my date. We go down to the village, and uh, it's very exciting. I take a lift down there. Ooh, I love a lift. Good job. I had an earlier incident, which I'll tell that story oh, in a second. I got a couple of bangers. I so love an early incident. I'm never getting on the subway again. I'll just tease that. Oh, come on. So we take the lift down there. We get out. It's one of those ones you get out. There's Mateo. Ah. There's Nick Griffin. Ah. There's uh, Mike Cannon. Ah. There's Chris D. Ah. There's everybody. Everybody's down there. Love it. Did you see Alex Brazell? Of course I saw Brazell. He's a cute Joe little Jew. Big Tuesday. Yes. At least he used to be. Everyone's always a Tuesday. Then they get successful and they ditch us. Well, he gave me a ticket. Free ticket. Okay. So he's a fan of the gays. All right. Well, I love Briz and uh, saw him. We talked tennis. Briz on my back. Uh, who else is there? A lot, a lot of comics. A real who's who. Sam Morrill is there and uh, the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough. I mean, this is already a who's who of Queef Jizz. Ian Finance is there. Mm. Jim Two. So we go there and then they go, here's your tickets. Todd Barry. Uh-huh. They go, here's your tickets. And now could you go upstairs because there's a, what do they call that? The point. And it's like this. You take a photo. Press it, uh, shoot or a photo booth. It's or step a, and release or something like that. Um, a red carpet. A step, backdrop? Yeah, but they call a it a, a click and meet. Click and move. Meet and greet. No, it's called a step and repeat. Oh, step is that and right? repeat. I don't know that. That's what it's called. Ah, step Look and it repeat. Up. I mean, I believe you, but I've never heard the term. I think term. that's the term with the photo, like the red carpet and repeat. Okay. Is there that you right? Go. Twelve step, step and repeat. And repeat. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it has step. backdrops and it says step and repeat. That's the All term. Right, okay. That's the big term. So, That's what they do on the red carpet. Yes, exactly. So they go uh, go up to the step and repeat, 
Yeah, by the way, somebody, I did it wrong, and then somebody, I won't say who, a, a comic was like, is this your first time doing a red carpet? And you're like, this, A, this isn't a red carpet. Yeah. B, yes. Yeah. And C, I did have a movie premiere at the Beacon <laughs> Theater that sold out. So I'm like, I, I, all, uh, fuck all of that comment. I already know who said that, because he's a cunt. Yeah, so <laughs> you definitely do. Yeah, first guess. But anyways... That's neither here nor there. So then they go, hey, go upstairs and do the step and repeat because we got to get a little press going. Okay, you're, you're like, part of press. I'm a part of press, but no one's impressed because I go over there and I go, hi, I'm here for the step and repeat. And then the guy is like, uh, are you media? Uh, and I was media. Like, I was like, no, nah, I'm a comedian. And comedia. he goes, <laughs> he, goes um, he goes, well, who are you with again? And I was like, well, I'm with Colin. And he's like, you're on, are you on the list? And I'm like, that lady told me to I'd go step and repeat. And he goes, what lady? And I'm like, I, I don't know. The la- that lady right there with the pink handed mm. me my tickets and told me to come over here. And it's embarrassing because everyone's with me. I'm like the foreman ah. of all the comics. And everyone's just like doing this and stuff. Oh, boy. And he's like, all right, let me see. And I'm like, this lady just told me. I don't, uh, I don't even care. I hate that. I don't even want to go up there. Right, right. It's not my idea. She told me. Yes. So finally he comes back and they lift the little... Uh, what do you call this thing? The curtain? The rope. The rope. The velvet. The velvet rope. I didn't get to feel the material, but All right. it was a nice rope. Okay. It might be fake velvet. Some kind of rope. All right. So I'm we at go the end up, of my rope. We go upstairs, and there's like real photographer, paparazzi assholes, Papa Nazi. They're doing <laughs> taking the photos. Sure. Very exciting. So then we all kind of shift Papa over. We got the circle, you know, comedians love a circle. Oh yeah, hey, hey. And it's it's me, Sarah, Voss, Bonnie, uh, Mike Cannon, Chris DiStefano. Uh-huh. He looks great. His hair's He's all grown up. I just want his cock in my mouth for like a day. That's it. We can arrange that. Just like nine to five. He doesn't have to be hard. He can be mm. urinating, wow. just filing paperwork. I just want it in my mouth for one full day. I can see that. And he's beefy. He's like a man. Mm. He stands up tall. He's barrel chest. That He looks like an old Nazi. He's really fantastic. Just He moves from one room to the other, and I just... Scoot around with yes. the cock in my mouth. Yes, he, you can tell he's good in bed. Can yeah, you? yeah, yeah. He's I'd, really. I'd get on all fours. Really, something. Past guest, mm-hmm. Patreon. We'll Ooh. have him back. Getting hot in here. Anyways, yeah, hunk of Rama. So he's to my right, and then I see the uh, photo going up, and it's Jim Gaffigan's Ooh, over there. And I go, yeah. oh wow, it's picking up a little bit now. Yeah, it's starting yeah. to be an event. Jim Gaffigan's here. Whoa, Nelly. Then I tell a couple stories. You know me. I like to tell a couple stories. And then I look over and, whoa, daddy, it's Jerry. Jerry Seinfeld in the flesh. There he is. The, the nice watch, the, the boots, the thing, the, oh, the yeah. hat. You know, he's just all dressed and he's got the scarf. He looks like a million bucks. He's a sharp son of a bee. And you see him and you're like, there he is. Wow. Last time I saw him was at Colin's wedding. When I was dancing right next to him, you try to like kind of bump into him, just be like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Oh. I'm doing the Elaine next to him. Huh? <laughs> the tiny kicks. <laughs> Not anything wrong with that. Yeah. So, the master of my domain. So, you know, you know, like, oh, maybe, maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe he's been uh, sniffing around. On the YouTube, he probably knows who I am at yeah, this point. Yeah, we're friends. You never know. Yeah, sure. So he's over there, and I'm doing the gag. I got my mask that they make you wear, and I'm patting it, going, "Oh my God, Jerry's here! Holy yes, shit!" Should we yes. talk to him? It's a fun gag. Hell of a gag. Good gag. Everyone's laughing. Oh my God, Jerry! So then he finishes his photo, and he's walking out, and he stops and talks uh, to Chris D for a second. Oh, now is the lady wife there, or just she's him? She's there. Oh, yeah, wow. She's there, which Sarah recognized her first. Uh-huh. I, don't, I don't know her from, uh, from Adam. Well, the wives like the wives. You I know. guess so. But I, I, don't, I don't know. She looks fantastic. But I, She looks great. I don't follow any of the stuff, so yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't know her if she walked in here. I think she cooks meth. I don't know. She does something with a cookbook. She does something, but so she's, she's there. So Jerry's leaving, and he stops, and he says, Hi, Christopher, to Chris D. Ah. Uh-huh. They shake hands. And you're just right there. I'm right there. It's me, Woo! Chris, and Jerry. And the butler. And then Jerry leaves, and, you know, I'm doing my gag. So I go, give me that hand. Let me smell that hand. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. that's a fun gag. Mm-hmm, Jerry. Ah, la, la, la. Like yeah. that. Oh, God, I hope we didn't see it. And then I get back into the circle, and I look over, and Cannon's like this. Oh! And I go, I go. What's up? And he goes, he saw that. Oh! Well, we can't talk anymore. I can't have a relationship with you. You know, I'm trying to get in good with this guy. And I go, no, come on. And he's like, 
he's right there. And at that moment, I just hear, what's the deal with Colin? And he's uh, right here. Oh. He's literally right here. Oh. And I'm like, I do this slight thing, and I can't see Peter, yeah. but he's right there. I just see uh, the wife. Ah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, come on. And he's like, and Cannon's like, I'm not kidding. Oh, and he's Cannon's like, not a, he's not a pranker. No, he's like, 100% he saw it. Ooh. He's still right there. He must have hated that. If That's I know bad. the J-Man, that is not up his anal. That's bad. Real bad, fatty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I really... the coop. I was like, let me smell. Mm. And oh. I did the tongue. I was like, oh. oh. I was like, Jerry. I like the gag, but that ain't uh, his cup of jizz. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. Well, look, let me it. call him. Let's call him. I got to end my yeah. life, I think, right? Yeah, well, if he, if he brings it up, I'm, uh, I'm just telling you now, I'm going to pretend that I don't know you. It was bad. He remained there, too. It was like one of those things. And then afterwards, I was like, come on, did he really say? And Cannon's like, I mean, maybe he didn't. But yeah, he was right there looking in that oh, direction. Oh, that's awkward. Well, he's a comic, though. He probably gets it. And I wasn't shitting on him. I was say- I was worshiping. Yes. It was a worship gag. Yeah. But I think comics would almost rather a shitting. Yeah. We're weird, you know, and he's probably like, oh, fuck. This is why I don't hang out with these younger guys, because uh, they, they mock me. Well, he's probably just like, what a dork. What yeah. What a fucking dork. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, hey, I've been there. He'll so, forget, though. He'll forget. Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't yeah. know. I don't think he knows who I am. So that helps. So I think it'll be like, yeah, it's some weird nerd. Right. And, and then they seat us. You got all your assigned seats, and you go, oh, F, L, Z, two. And uh, I'm sitting here, and Jerry is... Right there, across the aisle. Oh, boy. I'm on the end. He's on the end. So Whoa. the whole time, I'm like sitting like this. Oh, this is hilarious. Trying to watch the thing. And Chris D is in front of him, and uh, and and Jim G is behind him. So the it's like gaff. Gavigan, Jerry, Chris. Wow. And I'm over here just like hoping no one uh, looks over there, because I don't want the attention now. Yes, yes. I did the hand sniff. Oh, my God. Did you reach out and over the aisle fist bump? No. We cool? No. For a while, he was sitting on the arm, which was pretty cool. He was like doing this move, because he was talking to Gaffigan. Whoa, that is pretty like, cool. Oh, no. Well, the the the, uh, the arm sit. That's bold. That's a that's a ballsy guy to do that. Yeah, it was really something. But boy, that uh, yeah, that's tough. That hand sniff was bad, and uh, we watched the show. The show's fantastic. Everyone should go see it. He's amazing. Now, and, now, I got so many questions. Please, did uh, did other people bother him? Like, was there a fat lady? Like, ah, I need a photo, Jerry. No, I think the mask helped because nobody was really noticing. Mm. Him and with, with the mask on, I think you don't notice that. When he was upstairs, he had no mask, so he was a little more noticeable. But no, nobody said. I mean, Voss talked to him for a moment. He knows. I heard him be like, "Hey, Rich." So that wow, was something. that was exciting. I felt happy for Rich. I love that this little crackhead guy knows Jerry. That's yeah. what's great about comedy. It's so diverse. It's pretty cool. And then uh, there was also a moment where. Rich was sitting directly in front of him. He had his hat, his patented hat. The 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 fedora. The fedora. And I watched him go, uh, is this going to bother you guys? And when he did that, I felt like he wanted to talk to Jerry. Yes. But Jerry was turned to talk ah, to Gaffigan. So then great. he just had to talk to Jessica. You nailed that. And if Quinn like, was there, he would have called that I'm out. I'm sure he was like, oh, this is an in with Jerry. Hey, is my hat a problem? 100%. And then he's like, ah, I missed it. Because ah, you can't look to see when they're looking. Of course, of course. we've all had moments ah, like that. That's hilarious. You, you nailed yes. it, Fatty. The so, fedora, the explorer. Uh, but so that was something. It's fun to hear him laugh. You know, you laugh and you hear him laugh, and it's exciting. Yeah. But uh, boy, it was bad. And then wow, uh, I feel for you, Fatty, because I've been there. I know that feeling. Woo, it was horrible. But uh, the show was great. And then we all went to the Fat Black for an after party. Oh, Shane was there too. Shane was in the same row as um, Chris and and them. And Sam was right behind us. And, wow. Big, good group. Shane, Sam, Griffin. This is a hot, hot lineup. Hot night. And then we went to the Fat Black, and they had just all the wing covered, like oh, fresh wings, the wings. With the this thing, where you, you, the pincher, and you just grab yes. and help yourself to wings. You can get the ones you want. Oh. Joe's Pizza, oh. cookies, brownies, oh. open bar. Come on. Maxi pad with wings. The whole thing. And uh, Keith Robinson's there. He's the first one I saw, and I was like, Keith. You and I are the only ones that will say it. This show stinks. Uh, it's like stinks. Uh, we got to tell him. It was very fun. Beautiful you know? thing. Yeah, you love uh, you love Keith, and uh, I got a great photo of Keith Voss and Colin. Ooh, these legends, you know. That's a beauty. They'll all be dead by the end of this episode. No so. doubt about it. But uh, yeah, that uh, the hand sniff. I'm sorry, man. Ouch. That is tough. 
I've been there, and there's a. Uh, you feel like there's no coming back, but give it ten years, he'll he'll forget. Got it. He'll be eighty, but good laugh. Yeah. I got a good laugh. Yeah, but... I mean, you are a comedian, <laughs> and it's Ooh. funny. You, you did the right thing. You just should have checked to see if old Jew face was watching you. Yeah, yeah. Well, ah. what can you do? There's yeah. other legends out there. I remember I farted on Louie's bed, you know? that's uh, That fucked me up for about a month and a half. Yeah, that was worse. That was way worse. Yeah. Because I was on his bed, I'm in his room, I'm opening for him, I'm trying to impress him, I thought a fart would do it. I know, you really did one of these, too. You were like... Pfft. Yeah, and He was yeah. like, what is wrong with this guy? And I was uh, like, I know, I told you, he's a little retarded. Ah, uh, you see? And he's he right been now. answered Uh-oh. a text from me since. Well, he's writing to me, and it says, uh, ooh, that was bad. Ah, oh, jeez, the fart... The hand sniff. We're a couple of uh, degenerates out here. We're, yeah. we're fucking shit up left and right. Well, we're idiots, but what can you do? But anyways, great show. Check it out. We missed you. Well, sorry. I, I'm going this Monday now because I had to reschedule, and Brazil was pissed. He was like, all right, I'll refund you or whatever the hell he did. He rescheduled. But you know the Chris D. Seinfeld beef? No, I don't See, remember. This See, is, this is under the water, apparently. Hmm. Hey, folks, this week's episode of Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by DraftKings. Are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57. God, I feel old. Has all the action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Well, folks, I was on the record. I like the Niners and the Bengals, and they both lost Ouch. in the old semifinal. The Bengals should have won. I thought they got fucked a little bit, if you ask me. But I love Mahomes. If you follow me on Twitter, you know how much I love Patrick Mahomes. He's the highest evolution of the sport, and that is why I'm picking the Chiefs. A lot of people have the Eagles. I just I love Mahomes. My, my main man, my homes, baby. Oh, yeah. So ride or die with those Chiefs. And uh, plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Sunday Boosts. I love the word boost. Boost is big. It's a fun word. Base check boost. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 and 9 p.m. Eastern to see what prop bet will be boosted. I got a hair on my tongue. Pube. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code TUESDAYS. New customers can get $5 on Super Bowl 57 and get 200 in free bets instantly only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code TUESDAYS. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void in Ohio. O-H-I-O. See show notes for details. All right. Is it a pube if it's out of your ass? Or is that just an ass hair? I think it's a pube still. Yeah. I guess it's a pubic region still. The origin is still pube. Okay. What did I just watch where they used the word pubes, and it was like in the Old West? I was like, were they using pubes in the 20s or the oh, 1800s? Yeah. I always wonder that, too. Like when they go, ah, go fuck yourself. I'm like, they had that? Yeah. You know, you always wonder. Yeah. All right. Hey, folks. Tuesdays is brought to you by Raycon. Why not start with something small? Change up your routine with better sound with a new pair of Raycons. Raycon is premium auto with a perfect price point, and you can build great habits without breaking the bank. Listen to our next episode at the gym with your Raycons, and you'll hear what we mean. No matter how you listen, Raycons got you covered. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands, so get one of each or a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would pay with some other guys. They offer buy now, pay later options. Every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. I love my Raycons and never leave home without them. With uh, with eight hours of playtime, crystal clear quality, and resistance to water and sweat, you can take these puppies anywhere, take a call in the sauna, or listen to your favorite album at the street fair. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Well, go to buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays today to get 50% off your Raycon order. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash Tuesdays to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. Get on it and hear us better. Tuesdays with Stories also brought to you by Displate. 
Get your own artwork printed on a one-of-a-kind metal poster that only takes 20 seconds to install. That's nothing. They also have millions of designs available in officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Netflix, Call of Duty, and more. You know how much I love Star Wars and Call of Duty. That's your thing. Your poster comes with a magnetic sticker, so you just pop it on the wall and hang your poster. No power tools. No wall damage. Easily switch out a new poster in seconds. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displays and save up to 34%. Get 20%, 27% off if you buy one or two and 34% off if you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code TUESDAYS when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code TUESDAYS, or click the link in our show notes. Folks, let's get back to the show, shall we? Please. So apparently, I don't want to jizz on Chris's face, but uh, maybe you can jizz on yours. But he saw a YouTube video of Chris. He was like, this guy's amazing. He's so funny. And he got his number from Quinn, texted Chris and goes, dude, I'm a fan now. This is Jerry. I'm a huge guy. I'm gay. If you ever want to work together, you ever want to write anything, you have any ideas, send them my way. I will wow. help you. That's how big of a fan. That's how much I believe in you. Wow. And he's like, holy shit, look at this. He shows his kids. They don't care. And then two days later, he goes, I got some ideas. And he sent them all to Seinfeld. Oof. Didn't write back. Oh, boy. I know. He left them on red. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, so that fucked him up for about a year and a half. Well, what can you do? He moved to Staten Island. He did quick comedy. I think the jet my hand thing could be a good curb app. It's a killer curb app. Yeah. So And I, then sitting across from him, it's all gold. Yeah, it's pretty good. I prefer Larry. Even though I've auditioned about 11 times, they haven't taken me. Same here. Yeah, what it can stings. you do? Come on, Larry, it's us. You know us. <laughs> Come on, Larry, fuck? you know me. Yeah. <laughs> it still bothers people. <laughs> Um, You're blowing it. Any farts. Where? I feel like this episode's almost over. How long have we been going for? 30. Oh, All okay. Right. All right. Oh, you got 31. more. Because I, I, got, I got a couple nuggets, but I've been hogging, so you you shit right in my ass. No, no, you go, because uh, they, they already hate me, so well, please. Let me just throw this out. I went to uh, Hawaii. Yes, Hawaii. Hawaii. And I'll tell you, I didn't want to go. Come on. Well, the I know flight. Hawaii. It's Hawaii. It's great. It's a magical place. But plus, I assume you're taking a bus there. Yeah, exactly. I took a, I took a Greyhound. But uh, I just got back from South Af. I'm all wonked out. I did ten shows at Zanies. I'm wonked out again. And now I got to take an eleven hour flight to Hoo Ha Ha. Yeah, I've had that with Australia before COVID. I was excited. And yeah, then you're like I don't want to go to Australia. It's, it's like twenty nine hours. And the time changes they wear on you there. Mm. They wear. Wear and tear. Hey, that's not a bad gym. Eh. Well, you don't want tear. Tear is horrible. But you're tearing muscle? Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, it should be wear and bear, like shirtless. Ah, bear, yeah. Okay, so you go to Hawaii. I'm at doing the Blue Note. Two nights, four shows. It's a jazz club. It's legendary. It's been in Honolulu for years. And the flight was hell, mm -hmm. but... You fly. I flew out at like five, and I landed at like eight in the morning or whatever it was. Right. So I had the whole day, and I was there with my buddy Andrew Youngblood. Love Youngblood. I'll tell you, we had a great time. We we partied all day, partied all night, did the shows. The shows were solid. They're not a comedy savvy group out there. I can't imagine. It's not their thing. That, that's not their cup. Is that they don't they don't need laughs. They have the sun. They have the moon. They have the stars. Sure. You know so. We sold it out, but it was a lot of like, woo, yeah, heckling, yelling, talking. They'll just talk side stage like this, and you're like, hey, what are you doing? They're like, I'm talking to my friend. Like, they get mad at you. Right. Because they're not used to this kind of entertainment, I guess. Yeah, they surf. They're surfers. Yes, they're surfers. They're at one with Nate. Plus the grass skirts and yeah, the, the coconuts. Tits. Yeah, the coconut tit and all that. So, weird time, but we got into a big fight about merch. They took 30% of the merch. It was a whole thing. Then... I shouldn't be saying all that. They they wouldn't pay the feature. Interesting. They're like, we don't do that. And I'm like, huh. So we had a great time. Um, and I don't, I'm forgetting it. We went ATV driving. Oh, on the beach? Yeah. Wow. But every day we got so fucked up at night that we're like, we're surfing tomorrow. Tomorrow we're surfing. I've never surfed. I we're doing surfing. And we'd get so hung over that we wouldn't surf. Well, don't you need lessons? You can't just go out and surf, can you? You can rent a guy who goes out with you for an hour, <laughs> shows you guy. what's what, and then you you pick it up. Uh huh. And we were going to do that, and every day we were like, 
Yeah. Because the hour change wears on you. Of course. Nobody wants to admit it. Yeah, that's tough. Going and going and traveling. You got all the hours is yeah. fucked up. And then the surfing, I think you have to surf at like 3 a.m. Because yes. uh, the surf is, you know, right. Exactly, surf's exactly. Up. So uh, surf's down for us because we didn't hit it at all. And we just had a great time, but it was very relaxing. A pina colada on the beach, sun setting. There's nothing better. Well, the the wind, these New York winters make you long. Yes. Vecchio and Hannigan, they're in Aruba right now. I'm heading to Key West shortly, but this, wow. this low, gray, I cold. Know. Drizzle, that wet, cold, the slush, nightmare. And it's kind of fun to go in Hawaii and check the New York weather. Mm. And you're like, ah, look at these queefs. It rains in Hawaii, most rainiest state. Yeah, but it goes, <laughs> and then it's back. And rainbow. Then you get a rainbow. Gaze. She's a rainbow. So yeah, just a great time, but that flight back did a red eye, a 10-hour red eye in coach, and uh, oof, that hurt. That's when, I, that's when I flew back to New York, and like, I landed like 8 in the morning, went to the lounge. You always think, hey, it's a 10-hour flight, I'll get at least six hours. I got two. Yeah, oh, no, I can't sleep on an airplane. Watched Harold and Maude on the plane. Hmm. You ever seen it? Yeah, not in 25 years, Beautiful though. Beautiful film, so yeah. touching. People love that film. I have to re-familiarize myself. Yeah. I guess I'm a weirdo. You know what else sucks about Hawaii is you can't complain in Hawaii. Because hmm. you're like, hey, my foot hurts. They're like, you're in Hawaii, asshole. Yeah. Suck it up. Yeah. I like to complain. I love complaining. That's yes. comedy. That's comedy. Complain. Huh? Mm. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good uh, gym name. Complain? Complain. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> the rain in Spain, oh boy. Maybe fitness. 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 Fit, well, it's planet fitness. Yeah, true. And then there's 24-hour fitness. Oh, yeah. Is that it? Fitness is out, I think. Yeah. Fitness. Huh. Fitness monster. Mmm. That's something. Oh, boy. It's not even a sticker. No, a sticker. You got to think of the name, and I'll, I'll pump these stickers out. All right, <laughs> that sounds good. Well, sometimes you think you have something. I remember I told you before I came up with Missouri Loves Company, and I was like, I this, love that. this is over. I was over the moon. I was yeah. calling friends and, and emailing people. You got to sell that to the state shirts. of Missouri. No, I went to St. Louis. It's all over the place. Uh, it's on the license plate, the shirts, there's gowns, the tattoos. That's how you know you got it. At That's least you get the, point. the flattery of knowing, hey, I nailed that without knowing it. No, I've had this happen before where like, I, I came up, I, I did a bit when I first started about manslaughter. How is manslaughter better than murder? That was like a big ah, bit when yes. I was 19. Then they were like, oh, that's a Regan bit. And a Norm bit, apparently. And then, well, there you go. So then I'm like, well, at least I'm writing bits yeah. like Regan. That's something. Totally. Yeah, but I think anyone that ever hears that is probably thinking that. I just had a bit that somebody goes, I hate to tell you, man, this is an Eddie Murphy bit. And I was like, what? No way. I don't say the F word. And he's like, no, it's an Eddie Murphy bit. And I, he goes, it's from his first Carson. And I looked it up. It's the same bit. And I was wow. part of me was like, I got to drop it. But I'm also like, hey, I'm, I'm Eddie Murphy level. Yeah, yeah. I mean, first year. Get some leather. Yes. He's looking at my ass. <laughs> just a real... <laughs> Boy, he's very good. He's good. So let me just say, I flew back from Hawaii. Had uh, I was texting, I was like, "Oh, looking forward to Colin Quinn's show." And then I get the uh, beep, boop, boop. Hey, hey, we'll see you tonight at the Comedy Dojo. Two shows sold out. I went, oh. So I got the Beamer out, <whistles> slid right nice. over to the. It's a, it's a forty-five minute drive. It's a great gig that Comedy Dojo. I'm doing it March. Something. I saw your gay face on the poster. I said, I know that herpes riddled no chin, and uh, that's going to be a hot one. That's going to sell out, and you're going to get some clips. And the guy, Mike, is there. He gives you free food. He gave me ice cream. You get back in one hour. It's great. She touched my leg. Yeah, March 18th, I'm doing it. And uh, that's how I found out you weren't there because I got to the theater. And I, it's a who's who of uh, who's, who's, who's that. And I'm looking, and I go, Where's Mark? And I get a text. And it's Danny Braff going, hey, Mark's here tonight, so I'm putting your poster out to get all the Mark people to come to your show. And I go, hey, that's good, Mark. Mark's there tonight. Ah, and, boy, you're uh, on top of everything, aren't yeah, you? I you mean, can't get anything by this queef. What do you mean? That you're not at the thing I'm at? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you knew where I was and everything. Yeah, oh, I knew, baby. But I knew from Braffy. Braffy uh, Poo. <laughs> Zach Braff. Um, he wishes. Yeah, are they we related? all do. Oh, maybe, because he's from Zach. Jersey. Zach Braff is uh, related to Jessica Kirsten. That's right. They're cousins. Yeah. 
Huh. That's something. Boy, she's kicking ass. Riff Raff. Hilarious. Yeah, I love Kier. She's a killer. Riff. Tough follow. Oh, yeah. But she started comedy like so shortly. Let me tell you this story. I did a bringer show in New York, and she like blew me off the stage. This is when I was like 20 years old. And I was like, God, I remember telling her recently, following you was horrible. I was 20 or 19. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, I was only two years in at that point. Wow. I was like, Jesus. But she could really kill back then. Kill. I remember Schumer saying when she started, she would see Jessica on stage and go, well, I can never be that good. I'll never kill that hard. Yeah. That's... And then... Yeah. But still doesn't kill that hard. No, nobody does. Yeah. But I mean, Louis, remember Louis saw Rock and he was like, oh, I can't do that. He did Bring the Pain and he mm-hmm. saw it at Caroline's and he was like, I, I'll never be there. Right. But then he he got there in yeah. his own way. Doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, I, I got a few other things. Yes, here. I don't yes, know if yes. Sorry. I mean, first of all, this is we're a little behind because we gotta get the episodes up. So I was in Austin this weekend, and what a weekend! I just gotta give a shout out to all the gays. Yeah. And uh, it was really great. A couple sold out shows. Hell a couple yeah. close to sold out. How's and, that uh, club? It's unbelievable. Come it's on. It's such a massive improvement. And everyone really? always loved Cap City. Yeah. But it was under the highway, strip mall, and those long tables. So everyone's facing the wrong direction. Kind yes, of. yes, tough. Well, this has been taken over one of the best rooms in the country. And it's got this audio. It just blasts. The, it goes bang. It's a yeah. banger. Hell yeah. These crowds were hot. Oh, Jerry. I love to hear it, Fatty. And it was fine because it was a big weekend. So Sam was in at. The Paramount. Thank you. It was a real spitter. That was a real donkey fart. Oh. A donkey spit? No. no ca- llamas. Camel. Llama camels. Both, Both spit. And, camels. and my ex. Um, that's what I want. I like spit in the mouth. Well, this went right into the garbage. Ah, I see. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm out there, and Sam Marill is there Thursday. He's doing the Paramount. Ah. He came in on a bus. Yeah, he's got a bus now. He's a bus guy. Yeah. I, I came in on a plane, so I'm doing better. <laughs> so I land, and it was one of those ones, Veter's with him, and they want to meet up, but like we had an 8 a.m. flight, so we're eating lunch. They want to go play basketball, but mm. we just finished lunch, so ah, it's like just not going to work. That's tough. Jerry Bus. And then he's like, come to the late show and do the set, which always sounds good. Yeah, yeah. We had this in Seattle. I know. Well, that was different. That was, I was just hanging out with my niece and nephew I and see. making them blow me. But this one, it's like you headline a show, then you do the meet and greet you sell the shirts that's a drag and that ends at 10 15 his show is 9 45 and it's 20 minutes to downtown oh god plus you have a 6 a.m flight ah and then i had to do radio in the morning ah so you're like you're ah, up against it i'm not making that but then you always feel like the person hates you of course yeah but also you could go come to me well he's got a show yeah but that'll end Eventually, but by the time his end, it'll be, I'll be in bed. Okay. But so that's what happened with Louis. So then Louis was there Friday, Saturday. He's at the Moody Theater, which we did together with him. Oh, that's a great role. Austin City Limits. Yes. Chappelle did a special there. So he's there, and I say, if you want, and I try to go low press. If you feel like it, I got a 10 p.m. show, so if you want to ride up to that. So he said, I'll be there. Whoa! So then, uh, you know, the f- Friday night, f- early show, sold out, packed. Killer show, and now Louie's coming up. Oh my lord! You got a new hot hour cooking. Hot new hour. How March does he 6th, do it? Taping. Wow. So then Louie's like running behind because Rogan and Hinchcliffe came to his show, and they oh. all talk in the parking lot about how the aliens are going to take over, or whatever. <laughs> Elk meat. So, so he texts and he goes, "Hey, I just sat down and I can't wait to watch me some Joe List." And you get a jolt of anxiety. Of course, he's a he's a legend because you're like. We're very close. We made a film together, whatever. But you're like, he's just sitting in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. That's scary. Did he go on? I obviously said, do you want to go on? This is like right as Sarah's wrapping up. So like, I'm like, you got to write back quick. I was like, do you want to go on? Let me know fast. Because I'm like, I'm not going to be checking my text on stage. So he says, no, I'm just going to sit and relax. He got some sliders and sat ah, in the crowd. Oh, fun. And how about this? So he didn't contact anyone at the club. He just showed up. The door's locked. Ah, so who he locks just, the door? He just stood outside and banged oh, on the window oh, until a fun. fan came by. So some fan is like, women aren't funny. I'm going to piss during Sarah's set. <laughs> he walks by and just sees Louie at the door going like this. Whoa. And the guy's like, come on in. Or he could have said, I'm not letting you in. Good, good point. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard a rumor. He let him in, so Louie's back. 
back there with a bag of sliders just enjoying the show, Harry. Wow, that's a lot of sliders, a whole bag. <laughs> well, whatever, a bag of dicks. Sure. <laughs> so the show was hot, and you know, you have that thing, because you know, we're, we're very close, whatever, but you're still like... Thank God I'm destroying. Yeah, of course, of course. So that was fun. And then I I feel bad for the Saturday and Friday late shows. I didn't do a meet and greet because Louie was back there. Ah, you got to chat. And you want to just go, guys, Louis C.K. is over there. How about that? Yeah, of course. Uh, So that was exciting. So we did a a hang and chat in the back. Then he comes back the next night. And that time he got back, he got up sooner. So we're all hanging in the green room, and that was fun. And uh, same thing. And you want to say, I'm not doing a meet and greet because I got friends back there. My friend is legend. Of course. Yeah, yeah, tough. But it's fun. It's always fun when you can bump into another comic on the road. Yeah, that's great. Wow. But, I can't, um, it's good to hear there's a new good club. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, Rogan's is coming, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Yeah, that could get ugly. His is amazing. But this one's on the outskirts. It's in North Austin, and it's a very nice neighborhood. There's parking, and you don't have to deal with downtown, so I think it'll thrive. Hell yeah. And Shane did it the week before me. Oh, he okay. Felt the same way, so... But it's a it's a hot club. It's a hot new hour. I'm excited for everyone to see it. Um, How do you do it? How do you pump it out? I don't know. I hate myself. Yeah, are you just going on stage with ideas and your your experience kicks in and then you figure it out? I think so. A lot of riffing and writing and um, I don't know. I don't know. It's I, I'm scared to talk about it because I'm afraid I'll lose it. It's like a jinx. I'm like, I don't know. It just happened. It's just tough. We have so little time now. We're so busy. Like, Fanny texts me today and she goes, hey, do you have a second? Uh, We got to talk. And I was like, I literally don't. I'm on the train and then I'm running in here. Right. I don't have a second. So I was like, I'll call you when I can. But then it's like, oh, I finally have a free moment. No, I don't. I got to call somebody. I know. And I don't mean that as a zing to her. I'm just saying you don't have a moment. It's a lot. It's very busy, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You got to make it work. Doesn't doesn't make sense, but it'll be three in just under three years. Two days shy of the first one three years ago. Three in three years. Yes. Wow. Just under three years. Who are you, Aziz? (laughs) Um, (laughs) All right. But let me tell you this quick tale. Please, please. Let's get something else. No, put it right in my ass. So the day of... The big show, the big Quinn show. The big show. What was I doing Monday? I went out. Oh, I had therapy. Ah, Big Al. Much needed therapy with Alan. I had like three weeks off. The week before, I was supposed to go Monday, and he's like, it's MLK Day, let there be freedom. Sure. Freedom ring. Therapy lives matter. And so I said, oh, shit, okay. So I was built up. So I was very excited to really spill it all out. And then after therapy, you leave, you feel like, I feel better. You feel cleansed. You feel clean. So then I get on the subway, and you know me, oh, my God. history with the kooks and Here the subway, go. and I mostly take lifts. I try to ride just during rush hour now. Smart. A lot uh, of people. After this, i got to go downtown. you going downtown after this? Let's do it. <sighs> Safety in numbers. By the way, last time we did this, you got accosted. That's right. Yeah. Scary, hobo, smelly guy. Right in the face. He was big, too. He was big, and he was no joke, and, and I wasn't helping. I got right under the bench. Thanks for that. Yeah. By the way, people will write to me that I'm a piece of shit pussy, <laughs> and I'm like, I actually had clenched fists right behind him, and I was ready to choke him out. There you go. He was there. But uh, if you had even joke, people are like, I told you, he's I a know. piece of shit. I know. They're like, hey, fucking, it's crazy. But anyways, so uh, I'm on the subway, leaving therapy, feeling great, a little trepidatious because it's midday, so uh, the train is empty. Uh-huh. And these empty trains, forget about it. That's how they get you. So I get to 34th Street, and you just stop, and I'm reading like a like a queef. Oh, boy, Old books, school. Jerry, books. And you just hear, whoa, whoa, from uh, like a distance. Uh-huh. And so I perk like a like a deer in, uh, in Kruger Park. Are there uh, deer there? Uh, Impala. I'm like an Impala. I yes, go, Chevy. I look around, and I'm like, that feels distant. You're kind of, it is like nature. Yes. Like, okay, that's a ways away. Whatever, don't get all freaked out you just left therapy i go back to reading you can hear richard uh, attenborough is that his name the 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 the, the, uh, the prey reads not knowing who's uh, coming up in the bush a herpes infused dork <laughs> <He's reading. laughs> um, well it is richard and david which one's which one's jurassic park and one's planet it's, it's earth it's david attenborough you're right david is planet earth and richard is jurassic park are they brothers oh yeah ah uh? They're brothers, I promise. What? There's yeah. two voicey guys with animals? Englishmen, yeah. One runs Jurassic Park, and he's dead. Wait a minute, Jurassic Park's not real. Well, he's an actor. That's an actor. Oh, the old guy, Hammond. Yes, David Attenborough. I don't know if that's David. 
One's Richard, one's David. I don't know which one's which. I don't think they're both Attenborough. Yeah, they're Attenborough. Richard David is, is the David's Planet Earth. Richard's Jurassic Park. Give it a goog. They're right. brothers. Yeah, yeah they're Whoa, brothers. Oh, how cool is that? But Richard croaked. Oh, uh, can you He's imagine? Out. That guy in the bedroom must be fantastic. David uh, or Richard? The voice, the yeah. animal guy. <laughs> you know, the guy who does the animals. Uh, <laughs> I've located the clit, and I will attack, or whatever the hell it is. Well, they're both animals in bed, I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure Richard was no slouch either. His nickname is Dick. He's working with Spielberg. He can fuck. All right, all right. He's a little old, if you ask me. I don't know if he's going to... Well, David's 106. <laughs> I'm just saying the voice, though. He might be horrible in bed, but he can talk. Oh, I see. The, dirty talk. The dirty talk would be unreal. Well, Richard's got the cane. He can shove that That's right in there. That's true. He's got the little mosquito on top, too. <laughs> That'll caress a nip. <laughs> That'll sting you. You can work it like, like with the knob. Yes, yes, the knob. Knob is good. Uh, knob Creek. Uh, knob. Knob's Landing. Ah, yeah, Don Knob. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, Any farts. That's let me not get bad. Let me just get right through it. Please. So, and I, I hear the yelling, and I'm like, do this. But I'm like, ah, whatever. Don't freak out. Get to 42nd Street. I hear more yelling. Now it's closer. Ah. Oh, oh, like that. It's oh, like God. Buffalo Bill. Yeah. And so now I'm a little bit. And then you look and you see a couple people run onto our car, which is the dead giveaway. If you're visiting New York, yes. the door is open and a bunch of people run onto your car that weren't on the platform. Run on Hershberg. You're in trouble. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay. Then we get to 49th Street. Nothing really happens. What are we queuing? Uh, this is the NW. NW. Uh, a. So uh. we get to 57th Street, and now I hear, oh, oh, and it starts to get louder, and now I see people scattering out of the train. Oh, boy. So now I'm high alert, edge of the seat, propped up. Here we go. Scatter is rare, because usually people see a hobo shitting himself, and they go, ah, whatever. No, so this is a scatter, so I look out through the wind. The, the way the train is, you're like this, and there's a window, and I can see out the window onto the platform, uh-huh. and there's a guy, not like a homeless guy. This guy, he's Asian, who have had a rough couple of weeks, back-to-back mass shooters. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, Monterey, California, and uh, Bay Area. Yes. Gay so, area. This guy looks like he's got product in his hair. Product? Air, AirPods in. What? Yes, AirPods and product. Ooh, and then he's product got placement. Like an overcoat. You know those tan coats that look nice? Those Fabric-y. are nice. Yes. They're kind of trenchy, but yes, cloth. Exactly. Yeah, they're a camel hair. There you go. Spit. Spit. So then he's got, he's got the nice coat on and dress shoe. He's like a business bro. Uh-huh. And he's doing this. Ah! Ah, he's got an umbrella, one of the fancy umbrellas too, the what? reverse umbrellas. He's taking that and whacking it off the pole. What and he's the fuck? Kicking the bench. He must have been on meth or some crazy shit. But he's got the camel hair. A uh, camel hair and an umbrella. Why? Reverse umbrella. This guy's like uh, Joe Camel. It was crazy. So then he gets on my car, and now the doors are about to close. It's always scary because normally you want to get out. So a couple people scatter off. Yeah. And I'm like, just stay put. He's gonna keep moving because he seems to be moving forward. So then he's walking. Right up to me here, and he goes, ah, and he takes the umbrella and slams it off the pole. Then he slaps the seat like this. What the fuck? And he goes, ah, so I go, whoa, and I just get up and get the fuck off the train, along with like everybody else. Everyone just starts running. Like, whoa. It's crazy. Big guy? No, not that big. I mean, he's probably a couple inches shorter than me and similar build, maybe wow. a couple more pounds, whatever. Wow. Then he's like. Kicking the window and shit. Holy It's, just, it's the hell. craziest thing I've ever seen. Maybe it's an episode, like a, what do you call it, Polar uh, Express? What do you call it, Bipolar the Manic? Bi- yeah, Bipolar Episode. Ah, ah Polar Bear. So then the, I'm on the train with the conductor guy. No, wait, not yet I'm not. Now I get off and I, I go outside, like onto the platform, and the whole train stops, and you can hear, like, we got a 519 in progress, 48, uh, blah, 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 get down to the... Because they're, they're like, this has been an issue. This guy's uh, tormenting everybody. So then everybody gets off the train while he's on the train. So we're all waiting like for him. Then he comes off. Now he's on the platform. So everybody moves Whoa. back in. It's like a Benny Hill. Yes. It felt, like, it felt like the French French Connection. We all get yes. back on the train, and then we're like we're watching like that, and it kind of becomes we become like a community. Yes, we're yes. We're all together looking. Then he's running around the um, platform screaming, kicking over the trash barrel, smacking the seat, swinging the umbrella. That's when you close the doors and you get out of there that's, in the car or in the train. Was, exactly what I was thinking. So while he's doing that, I move to the other end of the train to get distance from him. 
Then I'm standing like so many people in between the doors. Like, are we going to, is he getting off or on? Yeah, like we're yeah. all doing this move. Right, right. Then he starts walking back towards us. Oh, jeez. And he's a menace. So then he gets on, he passes us, and I'm like literally now in the train, ready to go, whichever way he goes, run off. Oh, boy. Run off sentence. He goes past my car, and uh-huh. now I'm on the car with the conductor guy, the center conductor. Ah, uh, yes, yes, center. And he's going, we need a thing. And then he goes, stir, get off the train. The guy gets back on the train, a couple cars down. Okay. Oh. So now everybody moves up, and now we're all together. Are you using that that middle door? You know, going through the the train, the connecting. No, we're on one car, but like poking our heads okay, out. Okay, got it. And now I'm like this, talking to these, we're making friends with people. I'm like, is he on the train or off the train? And then like, I don't, I can't tell anymore. Wow. I think he's on the train. And then you hear this, get off my train. It was like Harrison Ford. Wow. He's like, get off my train. Wow. And finally, I'm like, off, I'm on. Finally, we all get on, and the doors close. Boop. Thank God. But they start opening. You know, when Ah. Because he's holding the thing, and the guy's like, let go of the fucking doors. I swear to God. He's doing the dicey. He's holding the doors going, ah. Holy ah." hell. And the conductor's like, get off the goddamn train. Let go of the fucking doors. It's insane. He's swearing. Wow. And so then finally the guy gets off the train, and the doors close, and you're like, dong, dong. And we're all like, whoo. Oh, my God. I'm on the edge of my tits here. And he's leaving this guy on the platform. I hope they called the cops. Then we finally start to move, and the guy, the conductor swings open the door, and he goes, I need a goddamn raise. And everybody applauded. <laughs> and then he shuts the door. It New was a York. real New York moment. New York, baby. But it was horrifying. I take the train so seldom now, and yeah. then you do, and there's a fucking complete lunatic. And that's an Amber uh, uh, alert there. That's crazy. It was bad. Amber and Nelson. Amber Heard. Ah, she's good. So is Nelson. Yeah. Hope she's all right. Yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah, it was one of those things, and you you just wish you like. I wish someone would just kick his face in. You kind of have that moment of, of like, course. what if I just came up behind and just fucking kicked the shit out That's of his That's when you want to be Batman. You want to just go, sir, relax, and then kick him in the chest, and then tie him up with like some kind of bat string. Yeah, and then throw him on the track so he dies. But yes, um, and the scary part is that guy's out there. I know. And did he hit anybody? Because he had the chance to fuck you guys all up with the umbrella, but he didn't. Never hit anybody, but hit the pole, kicked the window, punched the seat. And it, it feels like a guy like that is waiting for somebody to be like, hey. And then he'll be like, ah. Yeah. Then there was a weatherman that got beat up by the team. I saw that. They, yeah. they, they fucked him up good. Two black guys. And he took it in stride. He made a little post about it. And was joked. it only two black guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that took me a second. <laughs> um, it's probably a couple, but yeah. But uh, and then uh, Citibank is closing their ATMs early because of all the crime. Oh my it's, lord! It's Gotham out there. It's mayhem. Yeah, Planard. <laughs> Yikes! Well, I'm glad you're okay, Fatty. This is why you. Uh, I guess you can't take the train, but I take it every day. I know. I, I mean, I take it most days, but not at night. I don't. I'm taking cars. I'm Jeez. one of these guys now. Whew, man, that is rough stuff. Yeah, it was uh, it was wild. But, Hopefully um, they get him, tase that son of an onion. Yeah, shoot him in the tits. I don't give a fuck. I know, right? Where do you get the camel hair? I don't know. I'm telling you, he, I think he I think he probably got fired and then uh, snorted some meth or whatever. Yeah, maybe he had a bad fentanyl reaction. Who knows? Yeah, it's so hard to tell these days. Maybe I, he didn't get a curb audition. I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. But I snapped. Uh, yeah, it was it was wild. So. Anyways, what else you got? Or are we done? I can't even tell. Well, all right. I, I did a canner show last night at Stumble Inn. It was incredible. Oh, wow. Killer can't, show. I can't believe you showed. Oh, yeah, I made it. Uh, and uh, I did the dumb thing where I took the cue up, ah. and you're just freaking out. You got to get the F to the Q, and you're like, oh, God, oh, God. And I'm Google mapping it to see where it is. And I go, okay, I got it. And then you kind of space out. You're like, all right, I'm on the queue. Here we go. Went two stops past. Uh, I went to 96. It's on 76. Oh. So then he's like, where are you? Where are you? I call him because I'm like telling him that I fucked up on the train. He answers the phone. He's on stage. Oh. So fun. he goes, what's up? Where are you? And I go, I fucked up. I, I went to the wrong stop. I went too far. And the, I hear the crowd go, ah, Norman. Hey, there you go. So that was fun. And I go, I swear to God, I'm going to get on a city bike and and pedal the 20 blocks, and the crowd's laughing at me. Oh, there you go. That was a fun Best little gag. ever had. It killed. <laughs> and then I went comedy, and you heard the crowd go comedy, and then he hung up. Oh, that's fun. It was fun. And I got on. I got in there, and they're all like, there he is, and I'm sweating. But uh, we made it work. Thank you, Canner. 
Yeah, there you go. We're, we're working together this weekend, which is nine weeks ago. Sorry we're ahead of time. Key West? No, uh, Mohegan Sun. Oh, he had some good stuff. He killed. Oh, he's very funny. Yeah. Very good comic. That's a, it's a whole other world up there on 78th and 2nd. Oh, yeah. I haven't been to the Upper East. It's all these neighborhoods you hang out with so much, and then times change. You just go to the Strip every night. Yep. And now not so much. And then, like, the East Village. My whole life was in the East Village. Right. I never go to the East Village. Same cabin and Rafifi and all that shit. Lower East Side area. And now it's more West and a little higher up. And there was Karma Lounge. Oh, yeah. UCB East. Uh, what else? Oh, then there was the... Um, that great movie store, the DVD store, the purple. Oh, it was a good name. It was a woman's name, I thought. Kim's. Kim's. Kim's right. video. Yeah. Yes, Kim Chi. Kim's. And then uh, 13th Step, we would drink at because yes. Canner bartender. Like my everything was in the East Village. Professor Tom's. Yes. yes. It was like, uh, that was what Bulger called Captain Top Hat. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't think of Professor Tom's. He went, well, let's go to uh, Captain Top Hat. Uh, that's, a, that's a fun brain working right there. I know, and I regret not naming my company Captain Top Hat because yes. it's really funny. That's a great little little humding there. That's like what a kid would call it, you know? Yeah, very good. They say, Stephen Wright said, comedy, stand-up comedy is the mind of a kid with the words of an adult. Yes. Pretty good. Yeah, that's what he always says. All his bits are just a child life, like the 24 hours in a day. Yeah. That's how a child would think. I can't find my socks. I call information. Right. Or I suck my car key in the building and the whole building started up. Yeah. Oh, Holy Jesus. Holy shit. The neighbor oh. just kicked the wall and knocked over our calendar. Well, the, uh, the, I forgot to take my seatbelt off when I land, the plane landed. So I'm just walking through the terminal and knocking everything over, <laughs> dragging the plane behind. So me. good. He's funny. Whatever happened to him? He's pretty good. He won an Academy Award. Oh, for what? Um, <laughs> reference. I wonder if there's anyone that's gotten all the references. Well, we should say, I was thinking about this earlier. You said, I can't see Peter. I don't think anybody knows what that means. That's your joke. They I know. know your joke. That's an old joke from the 80s I had about uh, not being able to see everything in porn. Yeah. Oh, no one's, no one's worried about the guy. No one's like, hey, I can't see Peter. I yeah. can't remember what that was. But it was a fun, it was about Peter North. Ah, yeah, a little in scoop. Oh. Inside scoop there. We still need a gym name. Peter North's. And what about huge cocks? Yeah. Chuck, you got something? The powerhouse. That's hey. not bad. That's not bad. That's good. Did you Google that? What happened there? Uh-huh. That's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. That's, That's pretty my, good. My comedy club name, which we talked about years ago, is the Riot House. Right. We could so, do both. Yeah. That's a little tainted with the uh, Minneapolis, I feel like, with... There's been a lot of riots well, lately. What's up, the Race Riot House? <laughs> now that's a comedy club. <laughs> the Race Riot House. <laughs> Look at Bobby Slayton in there and Paul Mooney. But all right, all right. Let me just think one more gym name that we got to wrap with. So you do some dates, and I'll, I'm going to come back with a hot, hot gymnasium. Gymnasium. Oh, dates. Um, all right, my dates. Look at that. Well, you uh, look at that. You put the calendar up. Well, that's this, the date right there. This weekend, I'm at Denver Comedy Works, and uh, at the time of recording, Saturday's already sold out. So hopefully, you didn't miss your chance. But uh, there's a few tickets left. I'm sure Thursday late shows. Denver Comedy Works this weekend. I've got Matt Wayne coming with me next weekend. Friday the 17th is Lafayette with old JP Leonard down there. And uh, the 18th, Comedy uh, Houston, uh, Youngbloods Club, of course. Secret Comedy. Great club. club. Secret group. Secret group. Yep. That, I think, might already be sold out, too. Oh, you're rolling, Fanny. Oh, I'm rolling, baby. And then uh, March 31st, April 1st, that's Salt Lake City. And March 6th, of course, is the special taping. You probably missed out on that if you're just hearing about it now. And uh, <coughs> good stuff happening. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Go! I'm putting a ton of shit up there. It's a goddamn TV channel. It took me a while, but I'm there now. And go back and watch retroactively stuff. There's a bunch of web yes. series and stuff. And uh, I got to get those numbers up for the algorithm for when the special comes out. So uh, do that. Yeah, get on the Patreon. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, I'm all over the road. MarkNormanComedy.com. And uh, yeah, check out uh, all the uh, all the get get a mug. Go nuts. Get a T-shirt. And what do you got, Chuckster? Uh, I do a podcast with my buddy uh, Ray Harrington. He's a comic, and uh, my buddy Brad Rohr. It's called Fun Bearable. Very fun podcast. Yes. We've done it. Joe and Mark have both separately done it. Um, yes, separate but equal. And this week we have on uh, Jason Lee. Whoa. Whoa! And Ethan Supley. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Mallrats. Yeah, Mallrats. Uh, yeah. Well, you've passed us. That's great. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. My name is Earl. But yeah, yeah, my name is Earl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you go to funbearablepod.com, we have that episode with them and the Mark episode and the Joe episode right at the top of the page. You got that or right, Or subscribe buddy. on Funbearable on any podcast app. Yeah, so do that and uh, hit the Patreon and uh, yeah. hit our YouTubes and leave some comments. Get that algo going and... Uh, We'll see you soon, I hope. Yeah. Come out with gym names. Spread the word. What about Crank It Up? Crankers. Crankies. Crank Yank. Crank. Uh, Is Crank even a gym? I don't think it's a gym thing. Muscle. Swollen. Muscle. Abs. Bulk. 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 Buy in bulk. Bulk. Maybe bulk stands for something. Boys under leg. 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 Boys under legal. Kites. Uh, easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? Write it with, new, with your gym names to Tuesdays with Stories at gmail.com. Let's see what your gym names are. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And, but comment it also. Comment I'll go. It. Ooh, I'll it. go. Don't sweat it. You no, sweat. These are all shirts. Ah, uh, <laughs> shit. The there's stickers. Wrong with you? I got too many stickers. Is your yeah. powerhouse stickers. Powerhouse is not bad. Yeah, powerhouse is good. That sounds, I'm sure that is a gym. Yeah, but it Riot is. House, Powerhouse. What about Power Apartment? I mean, it's New York. Power plant the power plant the power plant mm. okay okay Ooh, smoothies jim and smoothies the power plant there's that's plants pretty in the good. smoothies plant based yes yeah power that's plant. pretty good power plant is that might be the winner here i think we got to end this yeah the whole thing yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right we'll, we'll all call right. it quits thanks gag Bye. praise allah hold it up it's all right it's i great. got one back yeah power move Oh, you know, it's a power move. move, and it's power and moving. But is the gym called move? Power move? It's a power move. Yeah, we're going, I'm going down to power move. Okay. All right. All right. All right. No